teaching on how to use Spokey Classroom and display your students' work. The very first thing we need to do is we need to create a page. As you can see, I've already created a page and I've added a title to it, and it's Triangles A Similarity. The next thing I need to do is I need to add the Vokey widget. So I'm going to go to my gallery, select my gallery, and I'm going to be in my content, and I'm going to select Vokey, V O K I, search. And my Vokey avatar comes up. I'm going to hold down on it, and I'm going to drag it into my screen. And what I need to do is I need to paste in the embed code right here from the website. So I'm going to go to my website, and I've already logged in. And this right here is basically the free website. I'm going to Vokey Classroom. This is a website which I have to pay a subscription to. And I'm allowed to have 100 students. As you can see, I have the students logged in. They have their login and their password that Vokey has given them. And I have classes. And if I select the classes, you can see I have algebra and geometry. This right here is the title of the lesson. This is the description of what I want them to do when the students go into their Vokey classroom site. And log in, it will they can actually select their assignment. I'm going to select geometry, sixth period. The lesson is going to be AA similarity. I want all my students, and I want to go to the approved section. As you can see, there's different titles. I want to go to the approved, and I'm going to choose Jasmine's. Now, right to the side is, this allows me to preview the student's work. Thumbs up is the approval. If I select that, I've approved it. And thumbs down, I disapprove it, and it will tell them try again. And they'll be in my try again section. This is my embed code. This right here is comment section. And I really recommend that teachers leave comments for their students. The students really appreciate that. Now, I'm going to select embed. And you'll notice that an embed code comes up, along with different places where I can actually put this Vokey. I'm going to select the copy key, and it's ready to put into my Vokey widget. So I'm going to go back to Notebook, and I'm going to do a Control V, and I'm going to select Go. And when you see the lips, that's a really good sign. It means that it's embedding your your avatar. So now I'm going to select and place it where I'd like to go. You can go back to the gallery and you could take and select and pull another one in or you could have something to the side that's a pre-assigned lesson or problems for the students to do. And quickly just summarizing, you can create a Vokey and then you publish it through www.vokey.com and you use the Smart Gallery and drag the Vokey widget into the page. Then you embed the Vokey code into the widget. And finally, you arrange the Vokey widget on the page for best placement. Hopefully, this was enough information. You get started right away and put a Vokey in your notebook.